Good morning, everyone. We're out here on a hot, humid summer day. I'm at a lake that I've, part of a lake I've never been to. Um, we're at Richland Chambers Lake today. Um, and we're gonna go fish all this timber. I don't know if you can see it that good, but there's a bunch of timber over here. We're gonna have super high winds, 15, 25, gusts maybe higher, but we should be nice and protected over here. And we're gonna scope all these trees with live scope. I'm gonna learn and see, you know, see what it's all about and learn. And then I wanna take y'all along with me as I learn. And we might fish this bridge right here too, maybe, but. So let's get out there, let's get going. All right, we got out here finally. It's really windy. I thought this area was gonna be more protected than it is, and it's not, so. We're gonna have to just make do. Um, but I'm pulled up on this tree right here. I'm trying to learn this, so it's gonna definitely take some learning, but you can see there's a tree right here and it looks like it's got a few fish on it. So we're gonna drop down and see if those are indeed fish. So let's see. So I got a minnow today, just cause I know it's just gonna be a little easier, especially with uh, with these fish being summer pattern, they'll probably be a little more uh, finicky. y'all bunch of difficulties this area is not protected like i thought it would be at all so we're gonna hang here for a little bit i'm already tied up fish this tree a little bit hopefully we can catch a few and we're gonna go hide from it i just can't i can't uh hang out here at all so let's see maybe we get lucky and catch a few on here before we get blown off let's see anything you know what we're gonna go it's getting bad we're going bad for me. Well, that got bad in a hurry. We are getting out of here. All right, y'all, I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. I'm having a rough day. It's so windy, I got so much water in my kayak. Can't even tie up to this bridge right here. Had to beach the kayak and get all the water out. Oh, it's just one of those days i guess but i'm just gonna try and salvage the day at this point it's too windy to fish the timber like i wanted to i'm just gonna have to hunker down on this bridge and hopefully catch something and maybe go around the corner and see what we can find but it's not looking real good at this point but i wanted to kind of give an update that's pretty cool look at that This right here is this column. There's fish all around it. I don't know what kind of fish they are, but we're gonna find out. Let's see if they want a minnow. It's even getting too rough to fish right here. Need to use that other rod. Let's see if I can see my. Got him. That's a crappie. I think. Oh yeah. Oh, that just got the camera soaking wet. Hopefully y'all saw that. That's a... Uh, try and clean this. No, that got everything wet. That's the first uh, live scope crappie right there. Nice fish too. I'm not keeping any today. So I can I can kind of tell those bigger marks of the crappie. 
And these smaller marks are probably these yellow bass. I don't know how well y'all can see what's on the screen, but I guess I'll see when I get back how good it turns out or not. Those crappie are a little deeper too. Got another one. Yeah. Not a bad fish. At this point, I'll take any fish I can get. Nice one. That's a nice one. I'm not even seeing these fish actually come and get this. I'm just putting it around them and then when I feel a bite, it's real hard to, with this wind and stuff, it's hard to, uh, to figure that out or see that on here too, but good fish right there. Black crappie, that one I saw come up and grab it. That one I actually saw and come up and grab it. It's funny, I was just thinking I hadn't caught a black crappie. Sorry y'all, I wish this wasn't the first live scope video I'm putting out, but I mean y'all can see the wind is just ridiculous. Uh, we're at a piece of timber that's somewhat protected. It's still super windy. Um, hope it's not too bad, but I mean, there's just nothing I can do. Um, I'm gonna try and fish this. I don't really know, to be honest. There's some something on it. I'm still learning, trying to figure out what it all looks like. So we'll find out together. It looks like some crappie that are way down there. That's what it looks like to me. Some bait right there. That's a yellow bass. No, oh, it's a crappie. Black crappie. Black crappie, keeper black crappie. Pretty cool though, it really is. Saw 
that one, grab it. Oh, that's a nice fish. Big black crappie. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful fish. Better fish here. Oh yeah. Look at that one. Nice one. Nice fish. Nice fish. I notice a lot of these have like stuff going on with their tail. I'm not sure what that's about, but pretty crappy. Doing the outro in the truck, already headed home, got the kayak in the back. It was just too hot out there. It was too hot doing outro out there. It was rough getting the kayak out. But we got it out, heading home now. Um, just one of those days where I just had to kind of take my losses, you know. Um, it was just too windy, it really was. I think I did pretty good considering um, the conditions. There was fish on that timber out there deep. I just couldn't hang out there. I mean, even in a boat, you wouldn't be able to hang out there. So really nothing I could have done, but still got out there and, you know, saw that there were fish out there. That bridge had a pretty good amount of fish. That that first set of pillars was the only place I could fish comfortably, comfortably um, without, you know, worrying about taking on too much water or anything like that. So, but yeah, so off, I think it was off camera. Off camera, I caught a fish um, there was something behind the, uh, something on the back side of the pillar. I'm not real sure what it was, but it had crappie on it. And I dropped back and caught that fish that was on that. That fish was a fish I would have never caught without live scope. So that one fish alone is telling me like the, the, the possibilities with this, with this live scope. Um, that one pillar, yeah, I probably would have stopped there and caught some fish without it, but it allowed me to, to fish efficiently. Drop that jig, or drop the minnow in this case, right on their head and catch them. Um, and I could see there was enough fish there to stay, stay put. So, yeah, this live scope's gonna change a lot of stuff, y'all. I mean, it, it's just, there's, there's nothing like, um, you know, being able to see the crappie live and see what they're actually doing. And one thing I gotta work on is, um, I got to work on it's hard the anticipation when you first get one the uh, the anticipation is kind of you know you see the fish coming and it's by your lure or your jig or your minnow or whatever and you just you get bumped and you just want to set the hook and you got to kind of wait and let them have it a little bit before you do and I'll work on that but yeah I definitely you know love it so far I can't wait to really get out there on a good wind day and really be able to put this thing to use so Hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to, you know, like if you enjoyed this. Comment if you have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell. That way you get notified every time I post a video. And we go live every Monday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, talking about crappie. So we'll see y'all there. Y'all take it easy.